Hi, I'm Stephanie Ackerman. Welcome to video two of my progressive tutorial series on dies, doodles, and details. So video one, I taught you how to use those dies and framelits and thinlets to create art on your tag. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you a little bit more of my process of how I add color into the details that I have already drawn. I started with the hearts and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in some of these circles using the same technique of a water brush and the tip of this happens to be a distress crayon. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that color right off of the tip of the distress, distress crayon and I am putting it onto the circle. I'm keeping it light so that when it dries, I can add some depth to it. You can either blot it off to help dry or you can let it dry. And because this is watercolor paper, it's absorbing it well and it's going to help dry pretty quickly. Also, I want to mention to remember that watercolor paper has different colors to it. This is similar to like a vanilla ice cream color, so it's a tad bit more yellow. When you add blue to yellow, it's going to have a little bit of a greenish tint. This doesn't, but what I'm saying is some of the papers are bright white, so if you have bright white colors, your, of course your colors are going to be more vibrant. All right, so again, blotting it off, it just takes a little of that moisture off, brings the color down a little bit, and then I'll go in with that same color, taking the color right off of the crayon, and then just blotting around the edge. And you can kind of see how it gives you depth around the edge. I'm not doing it around the whole entire circle because I don't want to outline it. I just want to give it some subtle, subtle depth. And I'm continuing on with the three circles. Of course, once it's dry, you can add more in as you want. But really, it's going to be up to your eye and what you see and where you see it needs it. Right now, I think this looks great, so I'm just going to continue on. And the background of all of these tags is the most white space area that we're going to cover. So I'm going to show you a different way to add in color, and I'm just going to use my watercolor palette. Remember with watercolors that the more water you have, the less color you're going to have, or it's going to be more transparent. The more color you have, the less water you have, the darker the colors are going to be. So I'm simply just swiping this color across the tag, not worried about whether or not it's straight. And again, I'm going to blot to bring that color down. And then I will go in with another color. I'm again, not going to worry about whether my lines are crooked I'm doing this upside down, so maybe you could even try it this way because then you will lose that whole attempt to make it look perfect because I know we do that a lot, but I'm just adding in swipes of color. After I add the color in, I will go back with my pen and I will use the edge of the tag as my ruler to add in those lines. I need one more color there, so I'm gonna go back in with blue. And that's just a very, very simple, easy way to get your background colored in. All right, so I have that. Then I'm just going to go back in with my pen and I am just going to add in some loose lines. Get them all down and then just double them up like we did on all of the edges of the tags and the shapes. You can continue on with this type of design on the others, or you can leave them blank. Again, it's up to you. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of shading. And for that, I use gray and black and white makes gray. I usually use my hand as a palette 
And then I am just going to lightly go up the sides of a tag. And I'm not doing the whole tag because I, again, I don't want to outline it. I just want to add some subtle shading. So I'm just doing that. Now, when you're doing this, and this again is up to you and your style, you don't always have to add a bunch of color. I have some examples that I've already done of where I just added some subtle shading to either the backs of the tags or even on the insides. This is just gray watercolor, just like I did. And it's just light and I just put it on there and then blotted it out to just tone it down a little bit. This is where you, again, get to make the decision on what it is that you wanna do. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You can always go back in and add more, but these are three examples of how you can have color and depth and shadows. You can have no color with a lot of depth inside or you can have just shadows on the outsides of your images and keep it just like that.